Good morning, YouTube. Today is a food and family episode here. I'm Chris with uh, Food Dudes DMV. It's a cold, rainy morning this morning, so do you know what that means? A nice pot of homemade sausage gravy. Now, I stumbled upon this recipe a few years ago, and it's a big hit with my family. You can have it with biscuits, you can have it with toast. Don't have biscuits today, we're gonna do it with toast, but uh, I'm gonna show you a quick uh, recipe. And the nice thing about this is, it is perfect for the winter time. Wake up and it's a really nice cold day, and you have a warm pot of sausage gravy, makes you feel good. So, let's go ahead, we're gonna take a look on how, uh, how I do this, all right? Okay, so here's the ingredients you will need to make sausage gravy. One pound of any type of sausage you like. Personally, uh, my family, we like the Jamestown brand. Uh, it's made uh, by Smithfield uh, in Virginia. Um, we like the mild, but of course you can use spicy. We need one fourth cup of all-purpose flour and two and a half cups of milk. And then of course, you need a cute assistant. Maddie, say hi. Say hi to the fans. Oh, she's focused right now. So, uh, we're going to start putting this together. Okay, so after you brown the sausage, we're going to take our flour and we are going to incorporate it into the sausage. Now, here's a, a tip. You do not want to drain the sausage. Right, yep, Maddie just told us not to drain the sausage. Because what happens is with the grease and the flour incorporated, it'll start to thicken. So we'll incorporate this and then we will add the milk. All right, so if you see here, the flour is nice and incorporated with the sausage. We're gonna go ahead and add our milk slowly. Again, two and a half cups of milk. This pan might be a little bit too small, so you don't have to use all the milk if you don't, if you can't. All right, and then we're gonna have that. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna lower the heat and let that simmer so it'll thicken. And we'll add our first layer of pepper. Now you add pepper to taste, so it's very important that you taste it as you go so you can get it to the right flavor that you want. So if you see here, you want it to get hot enough to where it starts to boil a little bit around the edges. And that's actually when you lower the heat just a little bit. So right now I have it on a six, which is about medium heat. And we're gonna drop it down to about a four and just let it simmer. I would say let it simmer for about 10, 15 minutes, but keep mixing it around because you'll tell when it gets thick. See, this is 10 minutes later. Look at that, it's starting to thicken nice. I've continued to add layers of pepper, if you can see close into there. Look at that. Okay, so give me a nod when you. Look at that. Okay, so we started about, I'll say 7.30ish, and it is now 8.15. So a very quick recipe here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and take a bite. It's been a while since I've made this. I'm gonna go ahead, you see right there, nice and hot. Again, great on biscuits. Don't have biscuits today, but you need biscuits, toast, or you can just eat it with a spoon. You get the nice taste of the sausage. That country, it's a country, you know, country gravy. It's got pepper, flour, milk. Absolutely delicious. Now, before we go, let's see if it's kid approved. Let's see if my cute assistant Madison likes it. All right, so here with me is my cute assistant Madison Brown. Uh, we're gonna see if the sausage gravy is kid approved. Make sure it's not hot. Maybe not sure. Let's let's go without the fork. Hang a fang on that, dear. And as it is with kids, unpredictable. Oh. Well, 
I'm now a mess. So is she, I think. From the smell of things, it's getting interesting here at the Brown household. So have a great day, and we'll see you soon.